Don't worry, Ash. There are plenty of men in the sea. You mean fish in the sea? No, I mean men. Fish don't own yachts. <laughs> Dad, I need $300. That's a lot of money, Hillary. What for? I need a new hat. For what? OK, like I'm going on the Save the Ozone Celebrity bus next Saturday. It's going to be Bruce Willis and Demi, Rob Lowe, Emilio Estevez, or Charlie Sheen, I can't remember which. We're going to take the bus all over town to protest air pollution, and then we're going to motor to the beach and have a big bonfire. <laughs> What? I, I'm not an expert or anything, but don't you think driving a big old bus around town and then having a bonfire sort of adding to the problem of pollution? What do you think? <laughs> Look, if this weren't a good idea, I really, really don't think Ellie Sheedy would be involved. I have an announcement. My horoscope said that I will prosper in my house, so I figured I better go buy one. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Hillary, that's wonderful. Nothing fancy. No more than six or seven bedrooms. <laughs> and I don't even care if it has a wine cellar. For now. <laughs> Wait a minute. How are you going to afford a house like that? I have discovered a unique method of savings. I never spend my own money. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Daddy, don't use your platinum card this month. <laughs> Let me get this straight. All this time, you've been hoarding your talk show salary while feasting away on the family fortune? What do you say to that big guy? All I heard is that she's moving. Oh, Ashley, are you in love? I think so. I feel like Derek's the one. I don't think I'll ever feel this way about anybody else. Oh, Ash, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> but long distance relationships don't usually work out. I mean, look at the Little Mermaid. <laughs> I mean, she was stuck in the sea and he was stuck on land. <laughs> but they ended up together. Yeah, with the help of a lobster. You know a lobster? <laughs> look, Hillary, I, I just want to know how you know if... I can just tell you that for me, Lawrence and I really loved each other. And we both felt that we were able to make a responsible decision. We decided that the time was right. Any regrets? Didn't I tell you he was buff? Hello? <laughs> oh, I give up. I can't get a job. I can't even pound the pavement right. <laughs> uh, guess your interview didn't go too good, huh? It's just not fair. I want my employer to want me for me, not for what I've accomplished. You know what I mean? Yeah, Hill, I do, and it scares the hell out of me. Tomorrow's just gonna be more of the same. I'm interviewing at a catering company, but I'll never get the job. Because it's a cold, cold world, Will. And unfortunately, these people only want one thing. What, your body? No, my resume. <laughs> You know, Will, life doesn't get any better than this. I mean, I have a great job. I met a great guy. And I have the thinnest ankles of any girl I know. OK, Hillary, it's your turn. I'll ask you a question. <laughs> All right, would it bother you much if upon your death, your body was simply thrown into the woods and abandoned? Does it say what I'm wearing? <laughs> you know, I, I think there may be a question that you should ask yourself. I already did. I'm going to register at Tiffany's. No. No, sweetheart. Are you in love with Trevor? What's love got to do with it? I'm having a wedding. Yo, when is G getting back? I'm starving. Don't worry, Will. I made breakfast. Oh, damn, I'm full. Couldn't eat another bite. Come on, Will. I know what I'm doing. Remember, I was a professional caterer. And you still would be if you hadn't poisoned those nuns. Hey, the autopsy was inconclusive. 